my friends, it's Nana Claire, and I have a book called It's Mine, a greedy book by Crosby Bonzel. And this book is so old, it was once a library book, and it's 50 years old. These are all the people who read it. Those are the stamps you used to get at the library before they did it by computer. In this first page, there is a flower. And the stem is all the names of the people that the writer dedicated her book to. Suzanne, Jerry, Mark, Carla, Mary, Barbara, and David. That's how she made the stem. And it looks like there's some toys on that page. This is a very small book. It's about the size of my hand, so I'm going to get really close. Mabel Ann had a doll, a teddy bear, a pail, a rubber duck, and a best friend. His name was Patrick. There's, there's Mabel Ann with all her stuff. Patrick had a dump truck, a wooden boat, a wooden horse, excuse me, a hat with a feather and a paper flower. Every day, Patrick and Mabel Ann played together. They look like they're friends, and they live close. They picked flowers together, and they waited for the postman together. They sang songs together, and they stood on their heads together. What are some things you do with your friends? But when it, Mabel Ann wanted the hat with the feather, Patrick said, It's mine! And Mabel Ann got mad and went home. When Patrick wanted to play with the rubber duck, Mabel Ann yelled, It's mine! And Patrick got mad and went home. But they walked in the brook together, and they swang on a gate together. They waited for rain together and they looked for four-leaf clovers together. Yet when they played with their toys, Mabel Ann said, This is mine, and this is mine, and this is mine, and this is mine. And Patrick said, Well, this is mine. And this is mine, and this is mine, and this is mine. Then Mabel Ann said, You can't play with this pail, it's mine. And Patrick said, Well, you can't play with my dump truck, it's mine. It's no way to share. And they both got mad and went home. Still, they sat in a tree together, they dug a hole together, they watched birds together, and they played hide and seek together. One day they had a picnic in a farmer's field. This is mine, and this is mine, and this is mine, said Mabel Ann. And this is mine, and this is mine, and this is mine, said Patrick.
but Patrick wanted a carrot. And Mabel Ann said, you can't have that carrot, it's mine. So Patrick pulled on the carrot, and Mabel Ann pulled on the carrot. And while they were pulling, something terrible happened. Can you guess what happened? Let's see. I wonder what happened, Daddy Ruff Ruff. What do you think? Hmm. The farmer's goat ate their lunch. Patrick yelled, it's mine, and Mabel Ann yelled, it's mine. But the goat didn't seem to care whose lunch it was. He just ate it. Then Mabel Ann started to cry. It's all your fault. If you hadn't been so mean, then the goat wouldn't have eaten our lunch. You spoiled our picnic. <laughs> And Patrick cried, I didn't spoil our picnic, you did. If you hadn't been so mean and grabbed your old carrot, it's all your fault. And Mabel Ann said, It's not. Patrick said, It's two. But now Patrick had nothing, and Mabel Ann had a carrot. And after a while, Patrick said, oh, Well, I'm hungry. And Mabel Ann hugged carrot and said, it's mine. Then she took a bite and Patrick said, is it good? Mabel Ann said, yes. Then Patrick said, well, I'm hungry. And Mabel Ann took another bite. Lots of big carrot, Patrick said. Big as two carrots, Mabel Ann said. And she stopped eating. Then Patrick said, Oh, we could have a picnic with a carrot as big as that. But it's, it's my carrot, and you don't have one. Big as two carrots, Patrick said. Bigger than two carrots. Mabel Ann looked at the carrot. It was a big carrot. The biggest carrot she ever saw. Big as two carrots. Then Mabel Ann said, mm, Listen, we can have a picnic with a carrot as big as this. And Patrick said, Let's! So Mabel Ann gave her carrot to Patrick and she said, It's fine, but um, uh, you could have a bite. And Patrick said, We'll take turns. A bite for you and a bite for me. And that's the way they ate the carrot. When they were finished, they went home to play with their toys, and Mabel Ann said, mm, These are all mine, and these are all mine, and Patrick said, Well, uh, these are all mine, but, uh, these are all mine. But guess who was wearing the hat with the feather? And guess who was playing with the rubber duck? What do you think about that? It looks like they learned about cooperation and started sharing a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to share. Don't you think so, guys? What do you think, Mama Bunny? Do you like to share? What about you, Daddy Ruff Ruff? Ooh, you hesitated. Is it hard to share sometimes? Ah, oh, that's okay. That doesn't mean you're not a good bunny and a good puppy. Sometimes you have to take your favorite things and hide them when your friends come over and just share the things you want to play with. Because we all have special things that we don't want to share, like, hmm, maybe your favorite puppy or your favorite teddy or something like that. And then you could put it under the covers in your bed and share all the other toys. But it sure is fun once you do share. 
have a better time that way. Have a good day, guys. Say bye. Bye. Watch my finger get really big. Mm -hmm. Oh, it didn't work. Let's see. Mm -hmm.